are again, Rotterdam Free Walking Tours. And this time we do a kind of art tour. And the art is on the street. So you don't have to visit the museum. You just can walk or cycle around Rotterdam and then be confronted with art. And what we will do is uh, we will pass by 11, 12 yeah, iconic uh, statues, which are not statues of generals and admirals. No, these are pieces of art. Um, so let me start with uh, the first one or two statues, these two feet on the street. Uh, why are they here? Uh, they are here to landmark, to indicate the cradle of Rotterdam. Where was Rotterdam born? Rotterdam was born exactly on this spot. This street was a river, the River de Rotte. And in those days, the Netherlands had also these floods. So people start building dikes. And to prevent the water coming into the River de Rotte, they built a dam. And in the dam, there was a lock. Et voilà, Rotterdam. These two feet uh, were a long wish of the city of Rotterdam to have this landmark on this uh, place of birth of Rotterdam. Uh, ben Zeres made these two big feet. They are a thousand kilo heavy and six meters high. And the inspiration of Ben Zegers comes from a little statue, which is in our um, Boymans van Beuningen Museum. And this statue is the ballerina of Edgar Degas. And you see the ballerina and then she starts to dance and that is exactly what these feet are indicating. A landmark to indicate the birthplace of Rotterdam. Like every city in the world which was old, at least in Europe, there was a city wall with city gates. And Rotterdam also had a gate in the direction of Delft and the gate was called the Delft Support. Uh, it's dating back from 1373 um, then there was a new Delft support in the 1700s, uh, which was exactly on the spot where the Hofplein is today. Uh, and in 1939, they start replacing that original Delft support to this spot. So we made a little move through the city. We are at the Wena. At the background is the Hofplein. At the very background, there's the Delft support. Uh, and here we are at three statues of Willem de Koning, as the Americans call him, William the King. Born in Rotterdam in 1904, uh, he lived for his, during his youth in Rotterdam. He started as a decorator, then he went to the Rotterdam School of Art. Uh, and yeah, then he started to become a very well-known artist when he moved to New York. And in New York he met uh, people like Pollock and Rothko, and he got inspired and he was one of the streams of expressionism. Mainly a painter, but he also made some statues. And Rotterdam want, wanted to honor William de Koning, so in 2005 they got three of his statues. First one is a reclining figure, somebody standing up. And the second one is a seated woman. If you look very carefully, you can recognize it. And then the third one is a standing figure. So I think it's very correct that Rotterdam has three statues of this pretty famous artist, Willem de Koning, William the King. Goodbye to the Delft support and our Iron Man. And then we walk via this yellow bridge to the Cairo Apple. So let me guide you to the next stop. And this bridge was an idea to make connection to points which were not easy to reach due to the fact that there is a, a railway track in the middle. Cross the railway track and then you find yourself uh, to this enormous building and there we will find Karel Appel. Of course, we are doing a art tour, but since we are here on this square, uh, I'd like to point out where this square was made for. It's a big uh, possibility to gather water. When there is heavy rainfall, all the roofs of the buildings surrounding this square are connected 
with little pipes and gutters and then it will be stored in these places and then later it will be given to the sewage. So yeah, a brilliant idea. Another brilliant thing is of course what we see here on the outside of that huge building which is a college and the huge building, building also has a theater and uh, one of the things in the facade of this theater is this piece of art. This piece of art is made by Karel Appel. And let me explain more about Karel Appel when we go to the inside. Karel Appel lived around 1921, uh, died in 2006. And he was one of those artists uh, which you can call expressionist. He was a sculptor, mainly a painter. Uh, but also he made this beautiful stained glass, 24 meters in width, 6 meters high, super, super colorful. The reason that he got this uh, little commission to do was that his friend, Hug Maaskant, the architect of this building, said, OK, this building also needs art. And there it is, this very wonderful, colorful stained glass windows.